Koenigsegg Bavaria for the Women's Monobob World Series race on a snowy Saturday evening. After the first of the two heats, candidates Melissa Lotholt slides enmeshed in a three-way tie for eighth, one of seven sleds covered by just eight hundredths of a second. British slider Misha McNeil had the lead as Lotholt began her run, but didn't as the Canadian finished a much tidier second heat. And Lotholtz would be in the lead for another few sleds. Kim Kalicki and Najesta Segeva both falling by the wayside after random second heats. Fifth off the first heat, Kim Uran of Korea. She'd had a strong run to be within 15 hundredths of the silver medal. She went behind early on, starting much slower than her Canadian rival, nearly three tenths given away at the start but she fought back to take a slender lead at the line. And Uran was still leading after Martina Fontenev of Switzerland had gone and we got to our final three. Alana Myers-Taylor, second fastest of the starters, and another neat looking drive from the American veteran who enjoys this Koenigsegg track. She managed to hang on, to take the lead of the race with two to go. Only 300 faster than Myers Taylor after the first heat was Germany's Stephanie Schneider. The former break woman had a good run going in the second heat as well, but the slender advantage out of the Chrysler skidded away from under her and she slipped a spot behind Myers Taylor with one sled remaining. Like Myers Taylor and Schneider, Kaylee Humphreys has only had one race in these new generation monobobs. That was a week earlier in Samaritz where she won. She led the first heat by three tenths of a second and made few mistakes in the second run. Learning fast is what she does after 14 seasons of driving bobsleighs and she romped away to win by 62 hundredths of a second. Schneider and Myers Taylor completing the podium behind our two time winner, Kaylee Humphreys, the American on top again.